Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Mars Alien TV. Another quick game of interplanetary ice spy going on here, back on Mars, back in Gale Crater. Uh, and we have this image, and it's from Sol 1296, okay? And a weird one, this. I really don't know what to make of this little thing. It's probably just a ventifact, in other words, an eroded object. I've got it up here with Neville T's Gigapan as well, and we're looking at this area, okay? I'll zoom out. Links will be below for these, as usual. So we're right over to the right of this gigapan, top right, and we're zooming in just below this ridge here, okay? And we're looking in this area here. In fact, just about here. And when you zoom in, you've got this little guy here. <laughs> now, I'm not saying this is a little guy. This is probably an optical illusion or some kind of weird ventifact that's eroded, a bit of rock that's split. Um, bits of it have fallen off and leaving this rather strange shape. But I thought it was interesting anyway. And another exercise in pareidolia. Here's the raw image from the NASA page, the official NASA page here. And it's another fairly low quality image, but not terrible. But the reason why we can't see a lot of detail in these images is, of course, we're looking at very small objects. I mean, this is tiny, this thing here, okay? Really, really small. I would say probably less than an, an inch t tall, possibly even smaller. Uh, no more than about an inch, I'd say. Okay, so let's go to uh, the folder. And quickly, I will show you the clips I've taken. Here's the main clip showing the larger area. And the little guy is down here in the corner. Okay, you can't see a lot of detail here until you clean up the image a little bit and zoom in. And here we have him a bit closer. And then we have it selected there just to show here. It's got a very strange straight edge to the top which curves round and almost like a little face here with a nose. Okay. And a, like an arm and a, a sort of a, a leg with a bent knee and a foot here. It's very odd. It looks like a little totem or a little kind of statuette. But what it's of, I really don't know. It may not be, of course. Just because it looks like a statue doesn't mean it is one. Especially when it's rather abstract, like this one. It looks like something you might see in, a, in an art, art museum or something. It's very odd. But the fact that it's in scale with the, the rocks around it makes me lean towards this being more likely a ventifact. Okay, let's get to the closer one. Okay. And you can see there's lots of straight pieces of rock here as well, which is rather odd. This piece here especially. Very straight. There we have it. And you can see a bit more detail now. And I've gone a bit darker here. And uh, you can see this very unusually straight piece at the top. And then like a, an eye here and a cheek and a nose. Now I'm not saying this is a face. I'm just saying it looks like one. It may not be nothing to do with a face and, and a statue, but it kind of looks like a little guy with a very strange elongated head sticking out the back and an arm, uh, his rear here and his sort of his leg coming around and then down to his foot. I mean, that's the way I see it. I mean, I see statues a lot. I used to be a uh, I used to do sculpture myself and uh, abstract is not really my style. I would do more lifelike stuff, um, but it, the problem is when you have low quality images like this, it, it, it's hard to tell what's going on. Is this actually part of this kind of piece of clayish uh, sediment here that's solidified, or is it actually a standalone object because the shadows don't seem to work out quite right? This is almost like a, um, part of something that's been obfuscated here. Let's look at the larger image. I'll show you what I mean. Um, it it kind of looks like it's been... There we go. Now, you if you look at some of these, these other rocks here, they do look very old. And then you've got these layers that, that form, layers of clay, and, uh, the, the, which then dry out and solidify, forming mud, mud rock or um, mudstone. And it gets harder and harder. And then, you get, and then over thousands of years, millions of years, this then splits up due to weathering and, and the cold, it would get damp and then, then it would freeze and it would split and you, and you get these layers splitting off. And uh, this is common on Earth as well, of course. Um, but you have more extreme temperatures on Mars, it gets much colder at night. Um, 
So is this part of this general, is there a kind of big lump of this mudstone here that we're not really seeing and it's kind of on the edge of, you know, part of that? Or is it a standalone object? Because the shadows really don't make a lot of sense here. Let's go to the full image again. Now, I'll show you the enhanced one here because I've, I've colour corrected this and uh, cleared it up a bit. So the shadows are kind of, look kind of like, uh, I would say, there's a bit of a slope there. They're, they're almost midday shadows or, or, or um, no, afternoon, I would say. Probably about uh, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So there's not a great deal of shadow sticking. They're not long shadows, that's what I'm saying. So it's not late in the evening or early in the morning. Okay, so the shadows are kind of coming this direction. So this should be casting a longer shadow, really. I mean, there's not, there's not really much of a shadow there. So has this image been manipulated? Has it been fudged out? I mean, it looks to me like there's data has been removed here. Uh, just here, you know. It's very odd. So let me know what you think, guys. Is this uh, a little statuette? I'll show you that again. Is it a statuette? Is it a ventifact? Some eroded piece of rock? It's just broken in an odd way, forming a face and a, an arm and a leg and a weird sort of elongated head with a very flat, straight piece to the top of it. I mean, that's dead straight. Look, absolutely dead straight, like this piece here, okay? Doesn't mean it's carved, though. I mean, it could have split like that. Um, so let me know what you think, guys. Not really sure what this is. I'm just kind of speculating, as usual, with these things. I mean, some of the things I've published recently are extremely definite, like the uh, the recent Mars statue head uh, that I published uh, on the 1st of this uh, January this year. That is probably one of the best finds you'll see on Mars. Um, this is just a curiosity. This, this is a, a weird one. So let me know what you think it is. Your views are always welcome, and I do actually listen to you guys. You often come up with better explanations than I do and uh, there we have it what could it be let's go back to the gigapan very briefly just to show you where to look again there he is and he's, I'll zoom out and you can see him tiny tiny little thing in the, you get a sort of sense of scale here and there are lots of other weird things in this in this area as well um, and especially up here just here I'll show you that now actually whilst we're here because it kind of looks a bit like a a shoe. It's really, really odd, this thing here. It's kind of sitting on a rock and you've got this kind of rounded front to it, like a, like a shoe and a heel here and it kind of, it almost looks like folded leather. There's, here's the toe, the toe end of the boot or shoe. Very strange, it's probably just a rock. And you've also got these three things in here, which I thought were interesting. But that's probably just where the rock split away. But they look kind of like pipes or something, you know? They're quite symmetrical. So there we have it. Another weird one. Lots of weird things in this area. Well worth checking out. Check out the Gigapan. Follow the links below. And I'll see you soon.